Good morning, everybody. Nice cup of coffee. We are here in Tennessee, 20 minutes outside of Nashville, and today is going to be a long run. Um, 75 heart challenge. First workout is going to be a 10 mile run, and I'm feeling good today, so I thought today would be my long run. And then after that, might probably be like a lifting session or rock climbing we'll see how i'm feeling but um overall yeah slept behind a lows uh last night slept great feeling well rested feeling like i could run far today so and i'm in a nice city to do it which i'm excited for so yeah that's that's the plan So, because this is going to be a longer run, I'm going to bring some hydration and some of these cliff uh, blocks, cliff bar blocks. Been testing them out a little bit, see how I like them. And I got this stuff here, sport hydration mix, it's just electrolytes and carbs. It's got uh, 20 grams of carbs and yeah. So, see how I like it on this run. Drink it as I go. If I do like 10, 12 miles, I'll be, I'll be happy. So, anything like more than 10 miles, I usually try to plan it like it would be a longer race. At least, I'd like to think so. Um, so, that's why I take this stuff. This will really help prevent cramping and all this stuff you don't want to happen. crazy how the deer here just don't care. Look at them. They really couldn't think twice about me. Six miles in, there's the city, there's a massive stadium. I'm in like an industrial park. I ate half of this at mile four i'm gonna eat the other half now feeling real good though pace is like under 10 minutes which is nice i'm gonna keep on cruising though oh just got back Let's see what we're working with oh three new records first is half man two hours four minutes for a half 10k 57 minutes longest run 15.69 miles man i set out to do 10 i did 15 and a half it's pretty good i feel really good um we'll see that was the longest run in a while the last couple of weeks i was kind of taking it easy because i did 15 like two weeks ago or three weeks ago and then been consistent with the miles weekly but not for long feeling good yes can i get some chips too Good, uh, good 12 on calories down the hatch. Feeling pretty good about myself after that meal. I definitely needed it. Um, 
gonna hit the road for about an hour and hit a plant of fitness that I found on the way. I'll tell you what, there's a Ch Chick-fil-A and a Chipotle in the same parking lot. I don't think that should be allowed. Cause I got in here, every parking spot was filled and it was insane how many cars there were. Cars everywhere, couldn't get a spot. But I managed to make it happen, so. Two hours of driving there and I cannot sit still. My legs are pretty tight. Found a good old fashioned Planet Fitness here. Gonna take a shower, a little workout in. It's gonna be good. Got this bad boy. So when I drive, I'm not on my phone, but kinda, kinda don't think it'll stick. Boom, there she is, we're in business now. You are sticking to the dashboard. How about that? Let's get to it. Sunset's pretty beautiful out here in Illinois now. Illinois has got some good sunsets, that's for sure. Not the first time that's happened. No, it's just a. No, that's why I wish forget it. You know. Thank you. I appreciate that. Have a nice day. I am a long way from home. What's up? I'm from uh, South Jersey, close to like uh, Ocean City. Millville. Millville. I live like 20 minutes from Millville. From Twenty, yeah. Water tower there years ago, and then, and Beach. Yeah, I surfed yeah, there a lot. There to... Nice old guy from Illinois, right there. I forgot my gas cap. Or not the gas cap, the thing that closes it. There's a cat over there. Said he built a water tower about 20 minutes from where I'm from. Oh. Uh. Man, I must, uh, I don't know. That run, it got me. I would not recommend running 15 miles and then sitting down for like four hours straight because it is killing me right now. My butt is on fire. Yeah. Figured since, uh, Stop to take a walk. I figured make dinner. Just gonna heat up some uh, some food I had prepped already. I'm here. Back in my little cave. Oh, it feels so good to lay down, stretch out. Um, yeah, I'm parked at a. I'm in Missouri. That's exciting. I'm parked at a. Uh, like a little boat ramp on a river. So there's some water around, it's pretty nice. 
and right off the highway not too far but definitely feels good to stretch out get so antsy sitting down for so long but yeah tomorrow's a new day and uh about 12 hours away from colorado which i definitely probably won't drive all to, like do it all in one shot but i don't think i feel like doing that tomorrow we'll see anyway i will see you guys in the morning I slept. It's pretty nice out here. Not sure what river this is, but this boat ramp is really long. Water level must come up pretty high, but pretty cool down here. Water looks nice. Very nice water. There's a fish, that is a big fish. Swimming right up the river. fish for a little bit. That thing was big. Alright. Figured since I saw a fish down there I'd give it a couple casts. Maybe I'd catch something. Not too sure how this is gonna go, but figured why the hell not. So I saw a fish. I don't really know much about fly fishing, except for the fly fishing I did this summer in Alaska. And uh, so this stuff is all new to me. Got that little guy on. I think it looks tasty. And we'll see. I got an indicator. I'm just gonna fish right here. Looks good to me. All right, gave it my best shot there. Not, I mean, not really my best shot, but it's kind of getting cold and got to get on the road. I saw one fish and that was really it. He was moving pretty fast too, so who knows? I don't even know what it was or how I would even catch it if it came across me again. <sighs> now it's time for some breakfast, maybe some nice oats. And we'll get back on that I-70 over there. But I love the spot. It's pretty nice out here. Very calm, aside from the highway. If the highway was there, it'd be great. 
Alrighty, so I was gonna go for a walk, but honestly, my legs are feeling real good. So I figured just hit a quick 45 minute run for my first workout in the whole country of Missouri. Um, so yeah, just I'm gonna take it easy today though. And, uh, but I mean, overall my legs feel real good for running. So I'm gonna go for it. What's up guys? How's your morning going? It's all right. Very friendly neighborhood around here. All right. Nice, easy five and a half miles through the pastures of Missouri. Um, feel good. Found a bunch of bush lights. And it's time to get out of here. Happy I ran instead of walked. I don't think I would have felt complete if I just walked. Out in here, about to hit it hard. <laughs> All righty, another day at Planet Fitness. Can't beat that one. Hit a hard workout. It was, uh one minute on a rowing machine, 15, um, what are they called? Like dumbbell, when you like put it between your legs and bring it back up and then squat and up, 15 of them and then five pull-ups on these like rock climbing things that they had. Tore up my hands pretty good, but felt really good. Did that for 45 minutes straight and I was crushed at the end. Uh, felt really good. Got my heart rate up a little bit and uh, showered up feeling real clean I'm gonna go find a starbucks get some work done maybe post a video good old oklahoma city i'm like all right can't go to work on an empty stomach so i'm gonna fuel up with some chicken chicken should be good maybe a little tuna packet Keep it a symbol for lunch today. Some grilled chicken that I had left over from the other night. 11 ounces, tuna packet, throw a couple Pretty good. <laughs> they said they love my truck. A couple of ladies. Alrighty, this is TJ. I was in the Starbucks working and he's outside standing for the silent. Yes, sir. And um, basically it's about anti-bullying. I figured Maybe I'll throw this in there and you can tell them a little bit about it. Hello, so each time you see one of our booths, this is uh, again, Stand for the Silent. We're a nonprofit for suicide prevention, and anti-bullying. Um, we're out because uh, suicide's the second leading cause of death for youth and teens right now. So we offer free education, youth mentorship programs, but it's a nationwide program. Each time you see our booth though, we're raising funds for that specific school district. So today we're out in Kansas City in Independence 
um, and we're trying to keep all the funds local. So whenever you see our booth, stop by. Um, any donation, you get a free t-shirt or like a hat, something to brand yourself to our cause. But uh, yes, each time you see us, go ahead and stop on by with us. There you go. If you see him, stop by. Anyway, figured it'd be worth throwing it out there and um, maybe check him out. We've made it to the final destination for the night. Um, it's like quarter to 10 and uh, I'm gonna sleep behind this big building because it is extremely windy out. Um, I'm in a hotel parking lot. Very nice place to stay. Usually it's pretty quiet. Nobody bothers you, but it's so windy. I parked in another spot and then now I'm here and I like this spot better because I'm behind the building and it's kind of blocking the wind because it is crazy. It felt like my car door was gonna get ripped off from the wind. That's how windy it was. But we are gonna very slyly get into the back here. Make sure we bring everything we need. hear that? Very windy out there. Alrighty, in my cocoon here. It is still so windy out there, but I read my book. It's called Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Pretty good book. Uh, so, Good morning. It's definitely still windy out there, but it doesn't seem as bad as it was when I first got here, which is good. Got a quick five hours ahead of us and we'll be in the motherland. Lucas's place. Interesting guy he is. So, yep, let's get to it. Looks like we got some snow out there. I feel like it's 18 degrees out right now.
Oh. Well, that rest stop was pretty interesting. It's called Mittens. There's a huge sign that says Mittens on the side of the rest stop. And I assume that they had mittens in there, but I couldn't find a pair of mittens. I don't know why they would call it that. It's the only rest stop I've ever been to that had a wildlife viewing um, room too. Pretty cool. Highly recommended in Kansas. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming into the big city here. Mountains are ahead of me. Had a long flat drive behind me, but feeling pretty good about it. I'm gonna head to Planet Fitness as soon as I get into town, and it's gonna be good. Get that workout in out of the way, and then head to my brother's place and get another workout in, and looking forward to it. But there she is, almost done I 70, and almost there. All right, we're back at the mothership. Good old plan of fitness. Get a little pre-workout in. Very good. Uh, get a quick push workout in. I've been doing push workout, pull workout, and then like a high intensity workout. Like yesterday was the um, running machine, kettlebell pull ups. Um, so today will be push, tomorrow we'll do pull, high intensity. It's kind of been the gist of my Planet, work, planet Fitness workouts recently. It's been doing pretty good for me. Can't complain. So we are gonna get on it. Alrighty, got a little bit of snow here in Denver. I'm gonna hit that run, Sloan's Lake. Feeling all right. I really just kind of want to round the week off. I probably shouldn't be running, but I feel good. And might as well get a quick four miles in. And then tomorrow I definitely should take a break. So well, let's do it. Alrighty guys, <clears throat> ending the video here with my turkey wrap. Did a quick uh, six miles, Sloan's Lake, two laps. Felt really good. Try to keep my heart rate right around like 150 to 160. Um, and that was pushing it pretty good, but felt really good. That rounds off the week for 44 miles. That was like my longest week so far, pretty much, I think almost ever. And uh, yeah, gonna end the video here. Really hope you enjoyed it. I'm really glad you came stuck around hopefully to this point and um hopefully i see you again in the next one and have a nice day thanks bye